and generally uh, we discussed about the local optima problem in the machine learning in this uh, whenever we discuss about the local optima problem generally this diagram comes into our mind we are taking two parameters w1 and w2 we are finding many minimums this is one minima this is one minima this is one minima many local minimas but for this graph there is only one global minima so we say for every local minima we are getting the gradient descent to zero uh, means for every local optima we are getting the diff gradient as zero so the gradient descent may give that particular value as a local optima but here in the neural network we are taking huge number of parameters so huge number of parameters means uh, the local optima is not at all a problem here it, uh, the neural network when we are using the gradient descent or when we are using the adam optimization algorithm uh, they both may, may not fail to find the uh, the original global optima they will not pick up the uh, local bad optimas because if we are taking the 20000 parameters it is very difficult to find a 20, by using the 20000 parameters a local optima but uh, there is a concept whenever whenever we are using more number of parameters here uh, in the neural networks there may be possibility that uh, here you are observing a flat region so it will take a huge amount of time or huge number of iterations to find the minimum value so that's why we are preferring rms propagation or adam optimization algorithm uh, here to progress very fastly with less number of iterations to find the minimum value in generally we call this point as seedling point so the problem here we discussed this platys can make the learning road slow to avoid this problem we are uh, we are suggesting to consider either rms prop or you can use the adam optimization algorithm which gives the minimum value of the cost function with very less number of iterations.